Here's tip off. Here we go. There's Lane and Lewis in the middle. Tip off is controlled by the Gauchos, and they have the opening possession of Big West Conference play, which is underway. Nobody has scored a field goal yet. Here's Tucker, left wing, isolating, going into her bag. And she reverses and puts up a little float in the lane and knocks it down. So Tucker's on the board. The Gauchos have a 3-0 lead with seven minutes to go. And Tucker picks off the pass. 2-1-1. Tucker for Johnson. Back to Tucker. And she finishes on the side of the backboard. Great two-on-one fast break. The Gauchos have 5-0. Tucker doing it herself. Tucker reversing. Oh, that pass is picked off and stolen away by Vidmar. And that's what she does. All she does is steal, and she gets an easy fast break. For the first yeah. time tonight. Tuck's got to know the scouting report. She leads the Big West in steals. He mentioned in a pregame. Wild Marin shot towards the basket. Oh, my goodness. How in the world did she make that one? And one by Marin as she dove to the basket, falling on the floor, and still found a way to put it in. Listen, Marin coming up. No smiles on that one. Nope. She's got her game face on, but, man, was that something special. For Nimmo, right wing. Nimmo jabs, drives in and out, dribble, pull up 10-footer uh, in the lane, and she knocks it down. Cooper now for Skyler Burke, throwing over the top of the lane, and triple coverage. It does not matter, and she scores in the midst of Titans everywhere. That look Maybe Aaron Rodgers could use Isla Lane as a receiver. Here is Tucker going in. Slow motion layup is good. Nimmo's got it left wing. She's driving with a Hernandez screen. Here's another probe and a fire at an 18-foot shot is good from the baseline. Could be huge later in the game. Ten seconds on the clock, and here's Mole. Cross-court pass to Callie Cooper. Cooper fires the three. Right side of the rim, no good. Rebound controlled by the Gauchos. They got to shoot the ball. Mole to beat the buzzer, and she knocks it down. So a scramble falls in the hands of Taylor Mole, and the Gauchos retake control this first quarter. And that here is Jessica Grant now for Mole top of the key. Looking over the top to Lane. Lane catches it. Nobody around her and finishes with the left hand. This is a beautiful, another beautiful lob pass. I've really liked how they've been able to do that tonight. Reverses it for Jovanovic. Has a look at a three. Now dives off to the basket. Euro stepping away. What a beautiful move. Reverse it into the right foot. Jumped off the right foot and scored with the right hand. Now she'll pause and move back to Taylor Mole. Over the top to Lane once again. And this is just getting ridiculously too easy. She scores again. Cal State has no answer for Isla Lane in the lane. Nimmo will have a nice little left-handed runner shot from the left side, and it's good off the glass. So she knows what she's doing. Here is Tucker. They don't get back on defense to the rim, and Tucker goes and scores. On a made basket, the Gauchos score. Alexis Tucker already into double-digit points tonight. Here's Nimmo on a pass off in a nice 15-foot shot by Isol Hernandez, and she scores. And now, even though she's only two of seven from the floor, Here's Lane again. Moves. Oh, what a move by Lane. And she scores. Are you kidding me? Move to her left, step through to the right hand, and scored in the paint again. And the Gaucho bench is harassing her on the sideline as she gets into Hernandez, but barely. Hernandez walks into an 18-footer, and she knocks it down. So nice buttery jumper by Hernandez. Stronger there. That gets to go, and Alexis Tucker's looking at 12 points on the night. Jovanovic drives, double clutch in the lane, and scores. Wow. Reversing to the left side, into the high post, a mid post for Tucker. Wants to go one-on-one -on -one against Savanovic, and she twirls, and she puts up a shot off the backboard, and she cooks her. Looking at her hands like that's exactly why I have the spatula in it. And she scores in the bottom of the post. Here's C now for Hernandez, who has, a, has it going right now, and she scores again to the free throw line. Motowar top of the key, into the post again for Tucker. Up fix. A dream shake fadeaway, and she knocks it down. A seven-foot fadeaway as the Titans bench. I saw someone give her some credit for that. A nasty move by Tucker in the paint. For Jovanovic, Jovanovic drives to her right. A dump down for C, drives to the basket, double clutches, and it's up off the glass and good. And now the Titans trying to get closer. Still not within more than four. It's 30 to 26. Here's Motowar in the post for Tucker again. Here she goes. Oh, she puts a defender on the floor, gets into Motowar, and she scores! Alexis Tucker in a clinic from the post. Passing, scoring, it doesn't matter. Got it as a player. Bo Bonnie's got a fourth man over here on the sideline. Here's a nice pass for a wide open three, Vitmar. And she finally knocks down the three. Grant backs it out for Tucker. Nine, eight, seven. Tucker still got it. Tucker's going to have to go one on one. Crosses over, moves, pauses, reverses. A fadeaway at the buzzer, knocks it down. Right before the red circle expires. And that's the second straight buzzer beater that Gauchos have knocked down. Gauchos the other way with Taylor Mole. 
A three by Tucker. And she rattles it in. Picked up by the Titans. Here is Nimmo driving to her left, probing, hesitating, squirting into the paint and scores. Great play there by Fajika Nimmo. Three times in the past week from beyond the arc. Usually she's very good from back there. Well, she's good from mid-range as she attacks the elbow from the left side and knocks it down. Jovanovic racing the right side line into the lane and she freezes and fires and hits inside. Dribbling left sideline, now reversing it right side. Here's Tucker, comes to get it. Tucker isolating against NPA. Crossover, step back by Tucker, and Dirk Nowitzki shot, knocks it down! They just retired his jersey in Dallas, and Alexis Tucker was clearly watching as she looked like number 41 for Dallas on that shot. Here is NPA, a handoff for Jovanovic's left corner. Fires it up for a right wing three for Vitmar. She's trying to get going, and in and out and back in! A toilet bowl. It'll be 15 on the shot clock as Cooper has a reset for Grant. Oh, Grant has a wide open three. It's good. And Grant cuts loose from the left wing. And that pushes the Gaucho lead to eight. For Johnson left wing. Johnson driving on the zone. Goes to the basket hard. And left hand lob is good. And one. Kennedy Johnson says you can't hold me like a Jeezy song and goes to the basket and scores, plus the foul. That was a great grown woman play there by Kennedy Johnson. For Tucker, right wing, up fakes Tucker, driving to her right, getting to the post, a fadeaway, and this time it's stripped out of her hand, but she gets it back, and she just throws the ball back, and it's to Nimmo. Nimmo's got it. Nimmo, one-on-one -on -one against Motowar, hesitates, goes to the basket, draws contact, and Motowar gets out the way. And Nimmo scores on the block. First for Motowar, this is a good look by Tatiana, and uh, doesn't get that one to go, but Kelly Cooper has an offensive rebound. Grant fires a 30-footer, and she knocks it down! Holy smokes! Grant firing it in from Old Town Goleta with no regard for the place on the floor. That's a Cooper right wing, guarded by Frey. Cooper driving to her left, trying to get to the rim, and gets there, and... Rolls it in! And the foul! What a play by Callie Cooper. And now the Gauchos can smell blood in the water. It's in the hands of Vitmar, dribbling to her right for Lewis and a nice, oh, nice give and go. Nice assist there by Vitmar to Lewis, rolling to the basket and they score. For Grant, Grant will shoot a three and she'll fire. And I'm just gonna let the crowd let you know what happened to that shot as she has hit three three-pointers, scorching from the floor. Jessica Grant doing what she does best. It'll be Nemo. Probing, orchestrating for Jovanovic, left wing drive, and she goes up and switches the left hand, and that's pretty stuff there for Jovanovic. Here's Jovanovic pausing, firing it out for Nimmo. Nimmo three with a hand in her face. It doesn't matter. Grant was right there, but Nimmo says, hold everything. We're not going away yet, and they're down by 11. Marin will reset a dangerous pass in the corner. Grant fires at three, and that's not a great shot. Deep ball pass. Here come the Titans the other way. One-on-one -on -one Jovanovic, and she pauses. Oh, good pass out. A good closeout, but it doesn't matter as Vidmar knocks it down. So Bonnie wants to take a timeout, and Grant, that time, took a three-pointer way too early in the shot clock. Gaucho should have worked it down. In for Tucker on the right post. Tucker's going to go one-on-one. -on -one. Shoot the ball. Nope, she gets it to Lane. Lane's going to go. Lane moves, goes to the basket, and can't score. And it's going to be a shot clock violation. Tucker should have shot the basketball. She was wide open. Big possession here for the Titans. It's Nimmo again, and she runs over Tucker. And as we mentioned before, Carson, it takes a basketball player with an extremely high cue to take a charge on a pass, and Tucker did just that. Huge turning point in the game, as that was going to be a wide open three. Jovanovic will give her nothing. She'll harass her by the logo. Barron's got to go. Johnson's wide open left wing. Here's Johnson driving around the lane screen. Johnson twirls, goals, twists the body, and scores! What a clutch basket by Johnson! Swerving around to the paint like a Lamborghini Diablo, and she scores! And a 3 on the response right before you can breathe by Vidmar. The team's trading blows. Alyssa Marin wants help in the backcourt. Dangerously close to a 10 second violation. They gotta get it up. And Bonnie's gonna call a timeout. What a sequence by both of these teams. Head coach of Fullerton is definitely not too ecstatic about the referee's decision here. And Harada is arguing with the official about 
the amount of time left, and he's got a case here. He wants to know exactly how much time is left for the backcourt violation. He doesn't know. Referee appeared to say, that's not what I'm in charge of. Oh, what a sequence there between the coach and the ref. Marin's got to throw this to the backcourt. And she gets it to Johnson, and Johnson breaks free. And Johnson is going to pull it back out, and they got a foul. One on one. And Johnson knocks it down. That's a huge one for the Gauchos. Oh, but she misses that one. But Tucker, what a rebound. And she's fouled by McDonald. Here's Tucker at the line, and she knocks it down. And the free throw is good. And that pushes the Gaucho lead to seven. Here's Vidmar left corner to Jovanovic. Jovanovic has got to shoot this. She's going to go to the basket. Don't foul Alyssa. Just let her go. And she does. She scores. Concession basket. They're up by five. 12.6 seconds. Here's the inbound to Mole. They got a foul right away. They got a foul right away. And they took a lot of time to foul there as Tucker is going to be the one that gets fouled. Gaucho is the best free throw shooting team in the league. And Tucker, nothing but net on the first. And second one's good. Here we go. Vidmar's going to inbound it. It's going to be Jovanovic. She's going to have to fire a three. They're going to have to shoot this right away. She's taking too much time. It's going to be a three by Vidmar, and it's off. And rebound is controlled by Isla Lane. And uh, the white flag is up. And the Gauchos win it by a final score of 66-59. to They get their first conference win of the season.